with Laura. I'm continuing on with the Khan Marie method. Um, I've just finished my books. There will be a link in the description box to a post that I'm going to write that will just include before and after photos of my book collection. It took me about 45 minutes, a very quick process for me. I don't have that many physical books. I do read some ebooks. But the main reason I don't have a large collection of books is that I prefer the library um, and my mother is a librarian so that definitely helps. I send her a message anytime I want a book and she checks it out for me. She's very good like that. So a lot of my books um, I would read and then return and I have no problem doing that. There have been a number of instances where I have loved a book so much that I've then gone out and bought a physical copy for myself. So usually most of my books, like I said, borrowed, returned, occasionally I will love the book so much I will go out and buy a copy for myself. But a very small selection because a lot of them are library books. I did include magazines and catalogues in this category but even with that it was still quite a small category so 66 books including magazines and catalogues I had in total. A very small collection given that I'm a huge bookworm. Um, I included everything in that. I went through everything at once. Fiction, non-fiction, I had work-related books, um, old college books, I included everything. But if you have a large collection of books, certainly it would be easier to subdivide them down into fiction or non-fiction um, or by genre or whatever you find is easier. In terms of work-related books, I had a lot of law books. I got rid of ones that were no longer relevant, um, if the information in them was outdated, I got rid of those. If it was on an area of law that I don't practice in or I don't practice anymore in, I got rid of those. If the information in the book was easily available online or if the book was more of a kind of a beginner's book or a foundation, a basics level book, I got rid of those. So I did get rid of quite a large number of my work-related books. I also had some old college books from when I studied French philosophy and anthropology. I loved those subjects and I loved studying them at the time and I held on to a lot of the textbooks but realistically I'm not going to reread those books so I did get rid of most of those. I held on to maybe two or three that I really, really love. Um, one in particular is no longer in print, so I kept that. But most of them, most books I got rid of, well, maybe not most, a little over half. I started with 66, as I said, and I finished with 31. So a reasonably quick category. I suppose the only thing that the only negative maybe was that because my collection was already so small it didn't make that much of an impact in terms of the physical space I had left over afterwards um, or the sheer mass of stuff I was getting rid of. Like with clothes, when I went through my clothes category there was so much stuff I was getting rid of and um, it freed up so much space that that really was I suppose the wow factor. With books not so much. Um, started with a small collection, finished with a slightly smaller collection. In terms of space left on my bookshelf, it doesn't really have the same impact. But it was a nice category to do. It was quick and easy, three quarters of an hour from the time I started pulling them down off the shelves to the time I put them back on the shelves. I followed the method closely in the sense that I didn't open the books. She doesn't recommend that you open the books because you can easily then start reading them and that would definitely happen to me. I'm a massive bookworm. As soon as I would open a book I would get sucked into it. So I didn't open them. Um, also I included, as I said, magazines, catalogues. If you are 
going to do the book category, I would definitely recommend including your books and magazines, uh, sorry, your magazines and newspapers and catalogues. I thought I might leave them until the later category and I know some people do that or a lot of people have wondered whether you should include them with books or include them with the next category which is papers. I would recommend including them with books. For me, I suppose my book collection was small so it was easy to incorporate them into that whereas I know that papers will be a much bigger category to go through, much more daunting. So I included magazines and newspapers with books. It made the process a lot easier for me and I think it would make the process a lot easier for you. So if you're considering doing books or if you're coming up to books, I would recommend including magazines and newspapers, if only to give you less work when you come to the paper category, which I am really dreading, <laughs> really, really dreading. With clothes and books, they were contained to a certain extent in certain areas of the house, um, whereas papers are just absolutely everywhere. They're in the office, the kitchen. It just includes so many things. So I would definitely recommend getting as much out of the books category as you can to lessen, to lighten the load when you come to papers. But yes, for me, very easy category, didn't have to subdivide or anything, um, but the trade-off being that I didn't have the same impact, it didn't have the same positive impact that the clothes category had um, in terms of physical space and maybe the mental space that I talked about in the previous video. But it's done, I'm following the method, I still find it very useful still plan on continuing even though like I said I am dreading papers but continuing on very pleased with my progress so far definitely making an impact on my home and I would highly recommend it if you're thinking about doing it um, so if you have any questions about the method itself or how I do it or you want me to clarify something please leave them in the comments below also let me know if you're in the middle of the method or if you finished it please fill me in with how you found it I would love to hear stories about how other people are getting on I know some of my friends are doing it and I love hearing their stories so it'd be really really nice to read um, kind of reviews or progress updates from other people but I hope you found this video helpful. This is definitely my quickest video so far. Um, I will definitely continue. My, like I said, my next video will be on papers. I probably won't be nearly as enthusiastic in that video. But continuing the process, doing well, and I'm really pleased with how things have gone so far. So fingers crossed papers won't be as bad as I am currently imagining it will be. But thank you for watching and leave any feedback or comments below. Thanks guys. Bye.